Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin, thank you. Number 5. Robin Bain, a symbol of grace and poise in mid-century America. Robin Bain, once the embodiment of mid-century American beauty, and later a beloved television personality, as the Today Girl on NBC's Today, passed away on October 21st in Southampton, New York at the age of 87. Her daughter confirmed that the cause was breast cancer. Bain's crowning as Miss Rheingold in 1959 catapulted her into the limelight, with her image gracing numerous advertisements and becoming a household name in the New York region and beyond. This victory came with a prize of $50,000, an impressive sum for the era, and her subsequent appearances across the United States and Europe solidified her status as an icon of beauty and charm. Born Barbara Jane Bain in Queens, New York, she rebranded herself as Robin to distinguish her identity in the bustling world of entertainment. Her career spanned modeling, television appearances, and the coveted position of Today Girl, where she contributed to fashion and beauty segments, a role later regarded as a stepping stone to more gender-inclusive positions in media. Beyond the spotlight, Bain was a skilled interior designer, imparting her aesthetic sense into personal spaces after her time on television. Her legacy extends through her family, including her husband, Alexander Guadieri, a stepson, and six grandchildren, who remember her not just for her public persona, but also for her roles as a mother, stepmother, and grandmother. As we reflect on Robin Bain's multifaceted life, we are reminded of the era she helped define, one where personality and wholesomeness were celebrated. Her elegance and approachability will be fondly remembered by those who knew her and those who admired her from afar. Tribute to Robin Bain. Number 4. Aaron Harper, a shining star on the court. Aaron Harper, a distinguished American professional basketball player and Ole Miss legend, tragically passed away in a car accident in Mississippi on November 4th. At just 42 years old, Harper's untimely demise has left the basketball community in mourning. Harper's college career was marked by a phenomenal rise, culminating in becoming Ole Miss's leading scorer in his senior year with an average of 16.5 points per game. His professional career took him overseas to Iceland, where he signed with Urvals Died Karla Club KR in late December 2004. Harper's mid-season arrival became a turning point for KR, leading to a series of victories that revived the team's season. Despite the team's eventual playoff exit, Harper's impact was undeniable, delivering a memorable performance by rallying his team from a deficit and sinking a pivotal three-pointer with just seconds remaining to win the game. His final playoff appearance saw him score an impressive 35 points, a testament to his skill and competitive spirit. Harper's legacy extends beyond his scoring prowess. He will be remembered for his versatility as a swingman, his determination, and the brief yet brilliant spark he brought to every team he played for. The basketball world has lost not just a talented player, but a true sportsman. As fans and former teammates share their condolences, the legacy of Aaron Harper's contributions to the sport will continue to inspire both current and future athletes. Tribute to Aaron Harper. Number 3. Bubba Copeland, a dedicated public servant and community leader. Bubba Copeland, the esteemed mayor of Smith's Station, Alabama, and a devoted pastor, tragically passed away on November 3rd after a period of intense personal scrutiny. He was a fixture in his community, known for his dedication to public service and his commitment to faith. Copeland's career was marked by a genuine passion for his constituents and the community he served. Elected as mayor in 2016, 
He became the second to hold the office in the city's history and was re-elected in 2020. During his tenure, he faced the city's darkest hour when a tornado ravaged Smith Station, an ordeal that earned him the Individual of the Year Award for his leadership. Beyond politics, he was a man of faith, serving as a pastor at the First Baptist Church of Phoenix City and managing a local grocery business. His support extended to the educational sphere where his wife Angela is a teacher, and he was a firm advocate for the Republican Party, endorsing Kay Ivey for governor. A Smith Station native, Copeland's entire life was intertwined with the city he loved. An Auburn University graduate, he cherished his family, sharing his life with Angela and their three children. The circumstances leading up to his death cast a shadow over his legacy, with personal aspects of his life becoming public in a manner that sparked national debate on privacy and intolerance. Despite the controversies, Copeland's impact on Smith Station and his efforts to help it recover from natural disaster remain a testament to his character. His death is a somber reminder of the vulnerabilities even public figures face and the harsh scrutiny that can follow. Bubba Copeland's legacy will be remembered as one of resilience, service, and the unfortunate consequences of a society that sometimes forgets the humanity of its leaders. In honoring his memory, we recognize his contributions to public service and extend our thoughts to his family and community during this difficult time. Tribute to Bubba Copeland Number 2. Preet Veselind, Chronicler of the World, Through the Lens of National Geographic Preet Veselind, an Estonian-American senior writer, photojournalist for National Geographic magazine, and nonfiction author, passed away on November 3rd at the age of 80. As a child who fled the Soviet occupation during World War II, Veselin's journey from refugee to renowned journalist is a testament to resilience and the pursuit of storytelling. After a transient early life with years spent in displaced persons' camps, Veselind emigrated to the U.S. where he grew up in Beaver, Pennsylvania. His academic pursuits in English and communications photography from Colgate University and Syracuse University, respectively, laid the foundation for his illustrious career. Veselind's pre-National Geographic days saw him in the role of a lieutenant in the U.S. Naval Reserve and as a reporter and editor for various esteemed publications. At National Geographic, his tenure exceeded three decades, culminating in the role of Expedition's editor and senior writer. His pieces were more than just stories. They were passages to the farthest corners of the globe, bringing to life the wonders and realities of our world. His contributions to journalism were acknowledged with the Order of the White Star, third class, presented by former Estonian President Leonard Mary in 2004 a recognition of Veselin's impact on cultural understanding and international awareness. Veselind is survived by his wife, Rima, and their community in Manassas, Virginia. His work, imbued with a deep sense of humanity and curiosity, will continue to inspire readers and travelers. As we bid farewell to Preet Veselind, we pay homage to his remarkable legacy that extends well beyond the pages of National Geographic. Tribute to Preit Veselind. Today's top headlines, News 1. In a twist befitting the high-stakes world of tech moguls, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has sustained an ACL injury, putting a pause on his anticipated foray into competitive MMA. Zuckerberg shared his ordeal on Instagram, detailing his recent surgery and the delay this injury causes to his martial arts aspirations. Known for his ambition, Zuckerberg had been gearing up for an early next year fight, now postponed as recovery takes center stage. Zuckerberg's venture into martial arts is not a recent passion. The tech leader has been active in various disciplines, celebrating a triumphant win at a jiu-jitsu tournament earlier this year. 
This setback comes amidst playful banter turned heated challenge with Tesla's Elon Musk, a potential cage match that buzzed the tech community. While the Musk-Zuckerberg face-off remains a tantalizing what-if, Zuckerberg remains focused on his recovery and commitment to the sport's integrity. I'm going to focus on competing with people who take the sport seriously, Zuckerberg asserted, undeterred by his current rehabilitation. The tech community watches with bated breath as one of its key figures navigates this unexpected personal hurdle. News 2. In a heartfelt display of remembrance, fans of the beloved U.S. ice hockey player Adam Johnson, who tragically passed away at 29, paid their respects this weekend. Nottingham, England's Motor Point Arena, became a site of homage, with fans laying a vibrant tapestry of flowers and signing condolence books in Johnson's honor. The arena, usually alive with the cheers of sports enthusiasts, observed a poignant two-minute silence. Johnson's untimely death occurred following a rare and tragic in-game accident. The local mental health charity's presence at the arena underscored the community's commitment to support and dialogue during such difficult times. Adam Johnson's legacy continues through the Love for Hibbing and Hockey Memorial Fund, which has witnessed an overwhelming response, reflecting the high esteem in which he was held. As the elite ice hockey league pays homage with silence and applause, the memory of Johnson's sportsmanship and kind spirit resonates profoundly with fans, teammates, and the wider hockey community. News 3. Europe reels as the aftermath of bomb cyclone Storm Kieran leaves a devastating trail, claiming at least 12 lives and knocking out power for over a million residents. The hurricane force Tempest, boasting winds that soared above 100 miles per hour, has wrought unprecedented damage across the continent. In France, heartbreak as casualties mount with at least 16 injured and a truck driver killed near Paris by a falling tree, as confirmed by Interior Minister Gerald de Manin. The storm's ferocity extended its lethal reach to Belgium, Spain, the Netherlands, and Germany. Italy confronts its own catastrophe, with floodwaters in Tuscany sweeping cars away under the cloak of night and five lives lost to the deluge. Desperate calls for help were met with inflatable boats and helicopters, while the collapse of a bridge near Pistoia further escalated the emergency. Authorities across the affected regions are urging people to seek safety and remain indoors as schools and public venues are shuttered in anticipation of Storm Kieran's relentless progression. The cyclone, which matured rapidly into a bomb cyclone with a record low pressure for England in November, has left a scar across the landscape with impassable roads and an array of uprooted trees. As the crisis unfolds, nations unite in response to the catastrophic effects of Storm Kieran, an unforgiving reminder of nature's untamed force. News 4. In an open-hearted Instagram update, Christina Hall, the beloved HGTV star, has reached out to fans with encouraging news about her health journey. Having battled with the challenges of Hashimoto's disease since 2020, Hall has not only been transparent about her symptoms, but also about the rigorous treatment she's undergone. The health roller coaster took a daunting turn with a dual diagnosis of SIBO and heavy metal poisoning linked to her extensive house renovations. Yet in a recent Ask Me Anything session, she radiates positivity. I feel good, Hall states, attributing her well-being to meticulous self-care and an innovative stem cell afoy treatment. Her resilience shines as a beacon of hope for many, emphasizing the importance of perseverance and holistic health management. Here's to Christina Hall's continued health and success. News 5. In a dramatic courtroom revelation, the ex-boyfriend of Caitlin Armstrong details their unstable relationship amidst the trial for the murder of Anna Mariah Mo Wilson. The Texas yoga instructor Armstrong pleads not guilty to the charge of fatally shooting Wilson, a professional cyclist and romantic rival. Prosecutors are leaning on a compilation of video, cell phone, ballistic, and DNA evidence, pointing to Armstrong as the trigger puller. Colin Strickland, also a pro cyclist and Armstrong's ex, testified to their relationship's rocky nature and his hesitation to commit long-term. This strain exacerbated tensions, particularly concerning Strickland's interactions with other women. Strickland's narrative describes a complicated web of relationships, leading to Armstrong confronting Wilson over their connection. The case took a shocking turn when Armstrong allegedly fled to Costa Rica after selling her Jeep and being interrogated by police. Her apprehension in June 2022 ended a tense 43-day international search, 
With the trial underway, the cycling community and the public eye remained gripped by the unfolding of this tragic saga. News 6. A Connecticut community is reeling from a harrowing discovery, a visiting nurse tragically found in the basement of a patient's house. This distressing situation detailed by the Willimantic police began when the nurse's absence at work prompted a search. With the aid of a diligent K-9 unit, her whereabouts led to the home of Michael Reese, 38. The subsequent police search unveiled the grim reality in the basement, while Reese was apprehended on separate charges. Known to law enforcement, Reese's history added gravity to the case. While the investigation continues with the Connecticut State Police at the helm, the nurse's identity and the circumstances of her passing remain confidential. As the community awaits answers, the heartfelt thoughts of the police force go out to the family facing this unimaginable loss. Meanwhile, Reese remains detained, with the justice system in motion. News 7 In an intimate reflection, Nick Carter shares the enduring pain of losing his brother Aaron, who tragically passed away last year. The Backstreet Boys star, at 43, continues to grapple with the loss, expressing to shock and disbelief that still lingers. Aaron Carter, a familiar face from childhood fame, was just 34 when he died in an unexpected accident at home. The sibling's journey was marked by challenges, but Nick emphasizes the bond of brotherhood that always led to reconciliation. The loss is palpable as he navigates life without the chance for further amends. Nick finds solace in family, treasuring his role as a father above his global celebrity. Through his children's eyes, he finds strength, affirming their significance over any fame, his touching tribute, Hurts to Love You, serves as a musical embrace, encapsulating his heartfelt tribute to Aaron's memory, a testament to an indelible love, echoing beyond silence. Number 1. Karen Davis, a compassionate crusader for animal rights. Karen Davis, the unwavering voice for domestic fowl and a tireless animal rights advocate, passed away peacefully at the sanctuary of United Poultry Concerns on November 4th. She was a beacon of hope and change for animals, best known as the President of United Poultry Concerns, a nonprofit organization she founded in 1990 that fervently addressed the treatment of chickens, turkeys, and ducks in factory farms. Born in Altoona, Pennsylvania, Davis grew from her roots as the daughter of Blair County District Attorney Amos Davis to a scholarly activist with a PhD in English from the University of Maryland. She adeptly balanced her academic career with her deep commitment to animal advocacy using her platform to challenge and educate. Davis was a prolific author, writing seminal works such as Prison Chickens, Poisoned Eggs, and The Holocaust and the Henmaid's Tale, which courageously compared human and animal atrocities, urging a new ethical perspective. Her writing illuminated the dark corners of the poultry industry and invited readers to rethink their food choices. Her activism extended to challenging mainstream media narratives and fighting ritualistic animal cruelty not shying away from taking bold actions like placing an advertisement in the New York Times to protest against the caparot practice. In recognition of her unwavering commitment, she was inducted into the Animal Rights Hall of Fame in 2002. Karen Davis leaves behind a legacy of compassion and advocacy that reshaped the dialogue around animal rights. She married Dr. George Allen Kate and was a sister to Tim Amos and Andrew Davis, the loss of such a formidable advocate casts a long shadow, but her impact on animal rights continues to inspire. Tribute to Karen Davis.